Uh, good evening, Rahul. <clears throat> Thank you. Good evening to all your viewers and to my fellow panelists. Yeah, uh, to that extent, I agree with Mr. Pawar because there are two aspects to this debate. One is the political and one is the legal. I want to uh, uh, reflect on both. But to the political aspect, I agree with Mr. Pawar that there's nothing you can do, so you have to fight back. It's like a cat that is cornered. But more importantly, who can you blame but yourself? If you're chief minister or you are in government, which includes the Congress, and 30 or 40 of your MLAs are being escorted by Mumbai police on the border up to Gujarat from Maharashtra, and your commissioner does not tell you. So, I mean, that to me is shocking. So there has to be some hard political questions to be asked. No doubt about it. But I have a legal query, because we are sitting with two very good lawyers, Sanjay Hegde, who always helps me, and Ishkaran, who I uh, like a lot. You see, what I'm very uncomfortable about is this election commission order, and I went through it. Now, while I want to cast no aspersions on the election commission, it's a, a constitutional body, I am surprised at the hurry and the speed at which the election commission decided to resolve this issue of the Shiv Sena, while a, but has not resolved the issue of Chirag Paswan and the LJP pending prior to the Shiv Sena issue. Amazing. It just picked and chose. Now the election commission or supporters of the BJP says, supporters of the election commission, 27 February is a by-election, but the by-election existed even previously, which was contested on two separate symbols. So that was no problem. So why did you not solve the Chirag Paswan issue, but chose to solve only the Shiv Sena issue? Point number one. Point number two, I find the decision of the election commission arbitrary with respect to the election commission. Why? Because the election commission more or less in its order says, look, Uddhav Thakre had the power to appoint a committee that then appointed him as the president. Fair enough. Can I please know from the Bharatiya Janata Party that the parliamentary board that was reconstituted just recently by J.P. Nadda, which then went on to elect J.P. Nadda, how is that constitutional? So, Bhajpa kare to chamatkar, koi aur kare to gunegar. How does the same rule not apply to the BJP, but apply to the Shiv Sena? I just haven't understood this. Or for that matter, let's even extend it to the Congress, which, which appoints the CWC, which then appoints the president. How is this? Uh, acceptable okay. for one political party, but not for the other. So the election commission needs to okay. clarify on this. Okay, the same rule.